there's so much I want to ask you. There's so little I can tell you. I'm a portal, not a scientist, but I'll certainly do my best. I can only assume this is one of your older starships. One would think, given the importance of your mission, they might send a ship of a more recent vintage. But, uh, <clears throat> apparently not. Actually, the Resolute is one of our state-of-the-art starships. <laughs> that must be some sort of contemporary humor. She's loaded with the latest and greatest technology in the galaxy. I've never felt more unsafe. Something wrong? Not at all. The galaxy has grown more diverse since the days of the Takan Empire. Because you conquered everyone who didn't look like you. To the contrary. Most lesser civilizations willingly join the Empire to enjoy the benefits of an advanced way of life. But that expansion came with its own set of problems, so... I admire your ability to diversify without creating conflict. That was always our challenge. And perhaps, ultimately, our downfall. I can't say that we avoid conflict entirely, but we overcome our differences because of our common interests and a shared sense of purpose. A general belief we are better off united than divided. A concept almost Taconian in principle. We're more alike than you might think. If this is the best you have, then so be it. To locate this scion, Galvan, I'll need full access to your ship's systems. Full access? Huh. You must be out of your mind. No, I'm right here. Completely in my mind. And with all due respect to your advanced technology, the simple fact is that I won't be able to locate him without it. Perhaps I should have made that clear up front. I'll need to make certain modifications. That shouldn't be a problem. Excellent. Solano's gonna flip when he hears this. I'll see you on the bridge. Captain Solano, I'd like to introduce you to Portal 63, Guardian of the Takan Empire. Pleasure to meet you, Captain. Likewise. I can't say I've ever met a portal before. There is no modern equivalent. Not within the Federation, at least. He's been kind enough to agree to help us find Galvin. I am at your service. To whatever extent I can be of help. If nothing else, I'm sure you're happy for a change of scenery. You spent 600,000 years at your post. That certainly takes an uncommon level of dedication. We all have our duty. Of course. But I'm curious. You were stationed there in preparation for what, exactly? Any and all threats to the Empire. An Empire that no longer exists. Which suggests you weren't very successful. You said you needed my help. I didn't come here to be insulted. Perhaps that was a mistake. I'd be happy to return to Delphi Ardu at any time. You'll have to forgive him. I'm sure he meant nothing by it. I know exactly what he meant. His disrespect speaks for itself. I'm merely curious where your allegiances might lie. And clearly it's with the Takan. Yes, Captain. You have found me out and exposed my true loyalties to the Takan. Not to the Scions of the Flame, who do nothing more than tarnish us in name and reputation and don't deserve to be called Takan. That's why I'm here. And if you'd be so kind as to give me access to your ship's systems, we can get on with it. And you can stop wasting my time. Access to our systems? That's completely out of the question. Tell me that's not what you promised. We're vulnerable enough as it is. And now we're supposed to give him access to everything? Ridiculous. Captain, I know it's a risk. But right now it's our best shot at finding Galvin and that ship. Here she was, naive enough to believe it wouldn't be a problem. 
Little did she realize the levels of ignorance and incompetence she was up against. If you're not enjoying your visit to our ship, we'd be more than happy to let you wither away back on your pathetic little rock. Captain? You clearly do not appreciate the magnitude of the threat the science pose. So myopic is your focus on your own ego. I will not be leaving until they have been found. Commander Rydek, a word. And to think, I waited 600,000 years for this. You realize this puts me in an incredibly difficult position. I was against seeking him out from the start, but now, to give him access to our systems? It's insane. And you somehow expect me to believe his allegiance is with us? You heard what he said in there. There's no way we can trust him. I might otherwise agree, but you're missing the most important point. He's a Takan, and he may be loyal to the Takan, but not to the Scions of the Flame. He's against everything they believe in. You heard what he said. There's too much at stake to be wrong on this. We sought him out for a reason. To help him find our missing crew, Galvin, and those Elidian ships. This is the plan we agreed to with Ambassador Spock. Which I never liked. But here we are. You know what this mission means to us. Not just for the Federation, but for me personally. I can't afford another screw-up. Losing the shield algorithms was bad enough. This... This could be the end of my career. We'll take every precaution to make sure we get what we need. I'll keep a close eye on him myself. I appreciate that. I'm going to trust your instincts on this one. I just hope you're right. For both of our sakes. Let me know if you find anything. We're good. You may begin. I will, of course, have to make a few modifications. What kind of modifications? To find Taconian technology requires Taconian technology. If this Cyan Galavan modified his ships, then I must do likewise to yours. <laughs> The galaxy is nearly infinite in size and complexity. This may take a moment. How long I will I found something. There you are. What is it? Galvin? Someone is using Taconian technology. I can't get the precise bearings, but it's located in the Palisades Cluster. I'll let the captain know. Rydic to Solano. I think Portal may have located Galvin. I'll be right there. I'm getting all kinds of interference. Almost impossible to lock on the energy signature. Where's he hiding? In the Palisades Cluster. Interesting. Can you lock in on the location? Not until you get me closer. Lieutenant Handar. Set a course for the Palisades Cluster. Aye, Captain. Well, I suppose I owe you an apology. You were right after all. That's what I get for questioning the advice of my first officer. You always have my back. No apology necessary. Your concerns were valid. Well, nonetheless, I should learn to trust your instincts, which were absolutely right. Nice work. Let me know if you find anything more. Will do. What's wrong? I didn't want to say anything until I was certain. But the reason for the interference is simple. There's a Taconian device on this ship being used to block the signal. Whoever planted it was exceptionally clever. They knew how and where to hide it. But they have underestimated my abilities. Engineering. Take care of the Taconian device. And I can find Galvan for you. It's designed to interfere with all transmissions. Or at least delay and confuse the effort to find Galvan's ship. Hold on. My understanding is that Takan technology requires a Takan to operate. 
Is there another Takan on this ship? The Scions could have someone on this ship, doing everything they can to stop us from finding Galvan. Don't worry, I'll get this fixed. We're going to find that ship. Engineers would have found this device already if it wasn't well hidden. Better to rely on my tricorder. Hmm, there's a lot of noise in here. I should scan the device putting out the most radiation to filter it out. That's better. Most other radiation sources in here are well contained. There's definitely tetrametric radiation nearby. But even with the gain boosted, it's getting drowned out by other sources of radiation in here. Jeffrey's tubes thump harmonics from all over the ship. I'll filter that out. There's still something drowning out the tetrametric radiation. I need to find it so I could filter it out as well. A little bit of harmless radiation leakage here, but enough to mask the tetrametric pulses. Easy enough to cancel out. There we go. I'm getting a clear tetrametric signal now. Found it. Excuse me. Do you belong here? Commander Rydek. I'm sorry. I, I didn't know it was you. Good to see you again, Commander. I've been keeping my eyes and ears open, just like you said. Glad to hear it. What the... Uh, are you doing back here? I, I don't mean to pry, but... First officers don't usually go digging around engineering compartments. Just a routine systems check. We've been having problems with our comms lately. Oh, that's news to me. I haven't heard anything about it. Probably because the comm system isn't working. Have you seen anyone else in here recently that might seem out of the ordinary? Maybe someone who doesn't work in engineering. Not that I can think of, but I can ask around. I'm here almost all the time, but... Maybe someone else noticed something? That would be great. Just be discreet about it. I don't want anyone to be alarmed. Discretion is my specialty. Well, I'll leave you alone already. Oh, come to think of it, that Hotari woman was down here earlier with Dr. Duvall finishing the last of the bioscans. Tylus? That would be out of the ordinary, right? Thank you. Maybe Tylus saw something. Tylus, can I speak to you for a moment? Of course. Is something wrong? There's something happening. I may need your help. This is important. How can I help? When you were in engineering with Dr. Duval, did you notice anything out of the ordinary? Or anyone? Not particularly. Why? I found this, hidden in a compartment down there. That's Taconian technology. Does that mean there's a Scion on board? But Dr. Duval bioscanned everyone. 
Every deck, every crew member, I've seen the logs. She couldn't have been more thorough. It's entirely possible it was Miranda who planted the device before we caught her. But we can't assume anything at this point. It could be anyone. That includes both of us. You want me to get scanned? Better to know for sure, right? I'll admit, I was around the Scions as much as anybody. I would feel more comfortable if you did. I understand. Clear. Now it's your turn. Sure. Clear. Don't sound so surprised. You spend plenty of time with the Scions as well. You never know. Let's get to it. The search starts in engineering. Whoever planted the device most likely did it within the last few hours. So I'll start by running a scan, tracking everyone who came through engineering over the last day, in reverse order. This could take forever to sort through the number of people that were in engineering. Cross-referencing this list with everyone who's traveled to Hotari. Mm, that helps. I'll filter out the duplicates. Now this is manageable. Filtering for outliers. People who don't work in engineering. Let's see who's left. No. This can't be right. What? Of the people that went to Hotari and visited engineering, it could only have been... Captain Solano. According to this, he was here while you went down to Delphi Ardu 4. Which would have been the perfect opportunity. And no one would question him. He's the captain. I've known Captain Solano for almost my entire life. I wouldn't be here. Or who I am. Without his help and guidance. If this is true. If they really got him, then this is just devastating. I know it doesn't look good, but we don't know for sure. Not yet. What happened when Dr. Duval bioscanned Captain Solano? That's just it. She never did. How is that possible? Something more urgent would always come up. There was nothing she could do. But performing a bioscan is the only way to be absolutely sure. That's not going to be easy. First thing I need to do is get this device to Portal. Be careful. And good luck. I'll need it. I found the device. Interference is gone. I have located Galvin's ship more precisely. He's in the Usonia system. So then it worked. This whole region was one of the most sacred for the ancient Takan. What many consider the birthplace of our civilization. See these comets and planetoids in the outer orbits? Based on their current trajectory, that's Galvin's destination. And legend tells us it's the location of what was once our largest arsenal. Not that we needed it in the late stages of the Empire, but it was there as a precaution nonetheless. What kind of weapons are in this arsenal? Uh, it's difficult to know what would have survived from the time of the Empire, but be assured that the damage they have done so far by altering your current technology will be minuscule compared to proper Taconian firepower. If Galvin and the other Scions secure the arsenal, they will become extremely dangerous. My people had such power at the height of the Empire. The Dakon were as gods, keeping absolute control over countless worlds. I must speak with them directly. However, the presence of this device is worrying. 
It's highly likely was placed here by a scion hidden among your crew. And it is unlikely this interference device was the scion saboteur's only trap. If we reach Galvin and the saboteur cripples your ship, we will be at their mercy. Even my powers will not be able to protect us. Do you know who it is? They may well do more damage if left alone. Time is not on your side. Just leave that to me. I hope to resolve it soon. The longer you wait, the more time we lose. Bioforming was so rare in the time of the Empire that I am not able to detect if it has taken place. Whoever you suspect, proof is something you will have to provide on your own. I'll have it, once I've bioscanned the person I suspect. I just need to visit Dr. Duval. That's quite the claim. You told me you were worried about him, but I never imagined this was what was wrong. I wouldn't be asking you if there was any other possibility. Well, that would explain why Solano has been too busy for a bioscan lately. As the ship's doctor, you have the authority to declare him unfit to serve. Well, if you're right, this is the worst case scenario. Challenging your own captain is a tall order. Are you sure you're prepared for this? If you fail, that's it. The end of your career. I am. I have to be. Good. You know what this is going to take. I'm in. But we can't pull this off with just the two of us. I technically have the authority to make Solano undergo a scan, but in reality, he can and will refuse to do it. We need at least another member of the senior staff to support your claim. Or this could all blow up in our faces. You better think long and hard about who you can trust.